Welcome back to Robinson Foundry. This is my Wilton Bench Vise. It's an integral tool in my shop and I use it all the time. In fact, it's been in almost every single one of my videos. It really has seen its better days though, and it's in need of a restoration and a new set of jaws, so that's what I'll be doing in this video. First, I went to work removing the old jaws. The bolt heads were distorted from years of use, so I had to grind a slot in them to get them out. Once I got the jaws off, I started disassembling the rest and cleaning the parts as I went. Once I had everything completely taken apart, I degreased everything as best I could and then I sandblasted all the pieces. Most of the steel parts on this vise are pretty beat up, so not much could be done about fixing the dings from someone hitting them with a hammer. But I did shine them up with a Scotch-Brite wheel that made them look a lot nicer. I chose this light bluish gray color to give the vise a vintage look. It's an oil based industrial enamel so it should hold up to a lot of abuse. I thought about filling in all the little imperfections with Bondo, but I just decided to leave it as is. I gave the vise two coats of paint and then I let it dry for a week before reassembling it. It's really useful to have jaws made of a soft material so that they don't damage whatever's being clamped. Copper's a really good choice for that, so I decided to cast some. I designed and 3D printed some very simple patterns and then used them to make a simple sand mold using an oil bonded sand called Petrobond. Thank you. 
These castings looked okay, but as I started to clean them up, I revealed a bunch of voids. I've run into this problem before, and I'm not entirely sure what causes it. I only see this in large copper castings, and only in Petrobon sand. So my theory is that it's something to do with the oil in the sand. I've already ruled out other possible causes, such as poor copper quality and gas absorption during the melt by melting copper from different sources and pouring into various molds, such as steel and graphite. I only ever see this problem in Petrobon sand. In the interest of finishing this project, I decided to finish machining these jaws, but I'll be revisiting this in an upcoming video. The machining was really straightforward on these. I simply squared them up and then drilled and counterbored the holes. I needed some small washers for the bolt heads to sit on, so I machined some out of some brass round bar that I cast a while ago. Well, with all the pieces ready to go, all that was left to do was to put everything back together. I have to say, I think this vise turned out really cool looking. The voids in the copper jaws don't look great, but the jaws will still work. This wrench is a good example of something that would be really difficult to grab hold of with the hardened steel jaws. I didn't clamp this very tight, and yet the copper still grabbed hold of it really well. These are 3D printed soft jaws that I made for the old steel jaws, and fortunately they still fit the new ones. Well I hope you enjoyed watching this restoration project, and if you did, please let me know what you think in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe for future videos. Well thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.